Okay. Um, welcome to the second boost geometry talk today. Uh, I'm Adam, I work at MySQL, and I'd like to talk about uh, spatial reference systems and how to transform between them in C++ with boost geometry. So when we are dealing with uh, coordinates, we have to know the context for them, how to interpret them. They may be uh, on the surface of uh, spheroid or on the sphere. Uh, we have to know the parameters of the spheroid, or maybe these coordinates are on a map, so they are Cartesian coordinates. In this, uh, in this uh, case, we have to know how this map was created to interpret them properly. The, the most simple uh, the most simple um, thing that could go wrong is the missing of units. For instance, we could, uh, we could have coordinate system using meters or feet. Um, typically, all right, and um, so uh, this is what uh, a space reference system defines. So basically, it defines the context of uh, coordinates we are using. And typically, the, the, the space reference system is, uh, is, uh, mm, is referred to with a number. And there are some multinational organizations defining such numbers. The most, uh, um, the most known one is the EPSG, which is now a part of uh, International Association of Oil and Gas Producers. Uh, but there are also others like uh, ESRI, uh, and there are also numbers of, of space reference system, uh, space reference systems for objects in space, like Moon or um, or and other planets. And this is the last one mentioned on the slide. Uh, here we can find various coordinate systems defined. So the first two ones are defined by uh, um, resources for a APSG uh, reference systems, and the, the, the third one contains uh, also ESRI and the, the, um, the, the astronomical ones. And when you go to one of these uh, sites, you have, uh, you'll, you'll see basically two definitions. Uh, this is the first one, so this is the WKT uh, format, so well, well known text as defined by the Open Geo Consortium. Uh, so this is basically the standard one. Um, and this particular one um, defines the, the standard uh, WGS84 coordinate system, so longitude and latitude on spheroid in degrees. So basically, the, the data you are seeing, for instance, in uh, um, in some GPS um, tool returns the coordinates in this system. Uh, and this is the same coordinate system defined in, uh, um, in a PROJ4 string. So, so PROJ4 is a well-known library uh, written in C uh, with wrappers to many languages. And this is how uh, projections are defined in this uh, library. So during this talk, I'll be talking about uh, Proch4, or actually, I'll be talking about boost geometry, but with relation to Proch4 because this is the uh, state of the art uh, library. Um, the most recent version is uh, 5.2, and here are the uh, addresses. And boost geometry, uh, boost geometry implementation is based on Proch4. It was started uh, some time ago by uh, Baron Gehrels um, when Proch4 was in version 4.03 or something like that. Um, and I finished it. And uh, most of the things uh, you'll see uh, are already released in Boost 1.69. Uh, and some of them will be in 170. Um, 
this uh, presentation will be uh, example driven. So this is my data. Uh, I took the data from uh, Eurostat. So ba basically uh, boundaries of countries of the world um, represented as polylines. So here is the, the address uh, at the top and uh, you have to navigate to find the, the file. Uh, and I'm using, uh, as you can see at the end of the file, I'm using a shape, shape file and uh, uh, these are coordinates in uh, WGSA84, which is EPSG4326. This is how it looks like. Um, what I would like to do basically is I would like to create three maps. Uh, so these are geographic coordinates. I'll be creating three maps, one f of Poland, one of Belgium and one of New Jersey. And I'll say why New Jersey later. So uh, these are all uh, geographic coordinates of uh, boundaries of Poland and neighboring countries. Um, so uh, I know if you know how, what's the shape of Poland, but the, this is distorted. Uh, and what I'd like to do is to create a map uh, representing the reality uh, more closely, more, more accurately. And for this purpose, uh, this SRID is used, so EPSG2180. Um, oh, uh, it's used for, uh, for maps of scales to 1 to 10,000, I think, because for, um, for closer uh, scales, you have to use uh, another one. And um, the, uh, the SRID is called, there are two, two other names. Uh, behind the APSG code, and the first one is uh, the Europe European one, and the last one is Polish name for this uh, transfer for this projection. So how it's defined? Um, this is the definition in WKT. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's a, on a different spheroid than WJS84. It's a fourth line. Um, uh, in degrees, and this, uh, these coordinates are projected using transverse Mercator uh, projection, which is something like this, if, you are, if we project the whole world. And this is how it's done in C, oh, well, C++, because I'm using vector, uh, in row approach 4. So we are creating two projections. Uh, PJ init plus takes uh, proj for string, so this different kind of defining a projection than WKT I shown at the beginning. Uh, then I have some array of coordinates, uh, which here is a vector, um, and then I'm, I'm calling PJ transform function passing uh, the coordinates. And I have to free the, uh, the projections because uh, essentially the, these are pointers. And now how it looks like in boost geometry. Oh, before that, uh, in boost geometry, we can express um, the abstractions uh, directly in the code. So here I'm expressing uh, geographic points, line strings, uh, and creating multi-line strings. And doing the same for Cartesian, because my input will be geographic and the output will be Cartesian. And here is how it, look, how it looks like in boost geometry. Uh, this is one possibility. I will later show other ones. But this is the basic one. Most, uh, uh, mo mo it's the closest to Proch4. So we are just passing the same Proch4 strings. The only difference is that uh, in C++, uh, the creation and destruction is, uh, is handled automatically. And I'm passing uh, input multi-line string, uh, which is geographic, and, and as output multi-line string, which is Cartesian. And I get the, the transformation you, you've seen before. Right, so another example, the same story, uh, Belgium, row geographic coordinates, and this is how it should look like. So, and again, uh, standard uh, 
uh, standard um, space reference system for Belgium, uh, number uh, EPSG 31370. So this is the definition uh, from yet another spheroid uh, using degrees uh, and using a different kind of projection. So there, there before there was a transverse Mercator, and here, here we have uh, Lambert conic. So this is the, the way you've already seen how to uh, create the transformation in boost geometry. So the, the first one, uh, the first projection is from which we are transforming, and the, the second one is projection to which we are transforming, right? So we are transforming from WGS84 to this uh, map projection with uh, high number of par parameters. So this is the first possibility. Uh, so ob obviously the strings has to be parsed, uh, parameters extracted, which takes time. But there is a better way, which looks like this. It's very similar. The, the names of parameters are the same. Uh, however, it's, uh, the numbers are expressed di directly in the code, uh, which means that uh, they doesn't have to be parsed. Um, obviously, this should be faster. Uh, here you can see the two WGS84 parameters, which, uh, which are parameters to, uh, used in conversion be between uh, ellipsoids. Uh, and I'm passing uh, C11 uh, initializer list as range, but you can pass uh, any range you like. But there is yet another way, uh, because here parameters are added to the list uh, in, uh, in runtime but you can create a list in compile time. It should be even faster. So when you pass a type, well, two, two types representing projections into a transformation uh, as template parameters, then the projection exactly knows what you'll pass in the constructor. And it, and it expects uh, uh, well, ex exactly what you defined in the type. So this should be even faster. And I also benchmark that it is really. But there is another way. So uh, if you uh, include this uh, optional header, which contains uh, a lot of EPSG codes, there is uh, 7,000 or something like that, which increases the compilation time greatly. But if you enable it, if, if you include it, then you can simply pass the numbers. So the, the upper one is, uh, uh, is the runtime version, and the lower one is compile time version, which uh, below this, the surface is the, the interfaces I've shown on previous slides. And here are the uh, benchmarks for, for the Belgium set. Uh, it contains 7,000 points, roughly. Uh, so in the table, uh, above there are creation times and uh, uh, in the table below there are transformation times. So uh, 5,000 creations uh, of transformation object and uh, adequate um, approach for projections uh, and uh, below the transformation of the, of the coordinates. And as you can see, um, uh, right, and in the first column uh, you have project pro proj four. In the second column uh, there is boost geometry using proj four strings. The third one uh, is uh, uh, is boost geometry using the runtime uh, parameters directly expressed in the code, and the last one is uh, um, static uh, are static parameters. So as I said, uh, the creation is. Uh, is faster uh, with boost geometry in all cases. Uh, we are pars parsing the uh, strings differently too. So this is why 
this is why we're faster than uh, even in, in case of, of Proch 4 strings. Uh, and we are slightly faster uh, uh, in case of uh, transformation itself. Because uh, internally, oh, we are doing things differently too. And this is the last uh, example, uh, New Jersey. Uh, I'm showing New Jersey because, uh, uh, as you will see, uh, it uses uh, North American Datum 27, which requires to use uh, grid shifting. So instead of uh, transformation between ellip ellipsoid uh, using oh, a set of numbers or uh, uh, an array, uh, we are transforming between ellipsoid using grids. So look lookout table, basically. Um, uh, and this is the first SRID I found on the, uh, in the US, because it basically is used in the, by the US and, and Canada uh, areas, um, which isn't yet deprecated and was on the, well, n near the sea, so we could see the, uh, the boundaries. So this is the definition in WKT. Uh, the interesting thing here is that uh, previous uh, previous projections use, uh, used meters, but here we have feet. It's a fifth line from the bottom. So this uh, this way you've seen already, right? From WGS84 to this uh, another. Uh, kind of projection, but uh, if you do this in boost geometry, the grids won't be used. So in boost geometry, unlike in Proch 4, uh, you have to uh, explicitly define where the grid storage will be, uh, oh, where, where the grid will be storage, uh, st stored, and uh, and you have to initialize them explicitly and pass. It's because. Uh, uh, Proch4 does it under the hood, uh, looks uh, for grids which are basically f huge text files. Oh, maybe not text, probably it depends. Uh, other huge files uh, somewhere on a disk. Uh, Proch4 uh, looks in some uh, standard directories like the directory of a program or a, a user directory. But uh, so I, I, this is not. Uh, acceptable, I think. So here you have to do it manually. Um, and here is the, uh, let's say, w one thread, one thread example. So you're cr I'm creating uh, grid storage. Uh, I'm passing stream policy and grids. So the first parameter tells how to access the file. So it defines. Uh, what kind of stream and uh, how to open it, because you can have uh, you know, a grid in a, in a string already loaded, whatever you like. So the, the def this default one um, searches for a file in the program directory and uses if stream. And the second parameter grids is uh, is the way to tell the library to use uh, single threading. Mm, and then uh, we are creating the transformation and uh, initializing grids, which then they are passed to forward uh, methods. So the only difference, uh, if you want multi-threading, the only difference is that instead of SRS grids, you are passing, uh, you have to pass shared grids. And uh, uh, currently, shared grids use boost thread. So um, you have to link this library uh, if you want to use them. Uh, I think in the future uh, it will be possible to um, to use STD threads. However, uh, as far as I remember, uh, internally I used uh, unique lock and shared lock, and I'm not sure when they were added to the standard. It's possible that in C++ 17, and this is why I use boost thread. But well, I, would, uh, I, would, I would have to check it. And uh, so the same story, uh, storage, which may be uh, defined anywhere. And 
basically should be uh, shared between all transformations because uh, it's more or less global thing. As you, you don't want to uh, load the same file multiple times. But this way you, you, you have control on when it will be created, when it will be destroyed. You can destroy it or keep it, uh, unlike in Proj4, I think. Uh, then transformation, initialization of grids, and uh, two threads performing uh, transformation. Now, what's the, what's the difference between uh, grid shifting and without grid shifting? So we are going to Atlantic City. And uh, the red one is without, uh, and uh, blue one is with uh, shifting. Uh, so the difference is 100. I know if it's, can you see the, these little numbers? It's more or less uh, 100 feet, so it's uh, around 30 meters error if you don't use them. But if you're fine with it, then it will be faster. Uh, so again, boost, uh, boost geometry is faster. And uh, this time, uh, the difference is bigger uh, because there are well, basically the, the grid shifting code was rewritten. And uh, we are using modern, um, in case of shared grids, uh, we are using modern uh, locking mechanisms like unique lock and shared lock, unlike Proch4, which I think use simple mutexes, as far as I remember. Um, and uh, in case of boost geometry, you can uh, explicitly don't use grids, which uh, makes it it's very fast compared to using grids, but, uh, but you don't get the accuracy. Um, so, uh, so boost geometry is flexible, fast. Uh, it's uh, it's easy to achieve thread safety because um, with Proch4, you, uh, with previous versions of Proch4, it was not possible to be thread safe. Uh, because they were using a uh, global uh, error reporting mechanism, like this uh, error no system tool. Um, now it is possible, but you have to create a projection context, one per each thread, and use a different function. So uh, additional code. Uh, and with boost geometry, because the, uh, after you create the transformation, it's constant. You, you can just use it with multiple threads. You have to. You you don't have to uh, do anything else. Uh, unfortunately, there are less features in boost geometry. So if you need some uh, less common stuff like uh, geo grids or three um, uh, D transformations or pipeline operator, then uh, you you'd have to use Proch4. And in boost geometry, there's also no init parameter and no axis parameter. I mean, they're, they're not supported uh, because in boost geometry, the uh, uh, the order of parameter, uh, the order the order of coordinates is uh, mm, is defined uh, at compile time. Uh, and uh, but I think this might be changed because it might be maybe would be needed in some cases. But there is no init because in Proch4 init you also loads EPSG, for instance, various things from files. Uh, and this is something we would like to avoid. Right, and if you are wondering uh, how these pictures were created uh, with this extension. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we sort of get to the left to the right like this? Sure. Um, do you have any plans to add uh, additional dimensions? I work with robotics, and this jump is great. I was wondering if like, ro robots have many axes, and mm -hmm. projections are pretty important. So right, but for robots. For robots, <laughs> right. Can you dimensions? Uh, uh, 
you're talking about, f for instance, uh, robot arm, right? And right. So this would probably be different kinds of uh, transformations, right? Uh, which should probably be faster than what I shown. So maybe boost uh, QVM would be for you because they they have uh, mat matrices and quaternions. So maybe something you'd like to use instead. Well, there is in boost there is uh, there is the, there is um, function called transform where you can pass uh, a matrix defining the transformation and and this way transform anything uh, any geometry you like. Um, so this is also what you'd like you you could use. So either this uh, or or QVM, but probably not uh, SRS transformations. Um, it's in the future plans, <laughs> right? So yeah, we we plan to add 3D and uh, actually 4D because uh, there are also additional data w which can be passed with points, uh, but it's not there yet. But yeah, we we are planning it. Yeah. Which ellipsoidal transformation methods? Right. Yes, it's uh, under the hood. There is uh, it's the same, basically the same code as Proch4 because uh, um, it started uh, as a, well, not a port, but it, it was heavily uh, tinkered with. But it was basically Proch4. Um, and uh, it was started mainly because uh, this way, mainly because uh, Proch4 only used doubles and boost geometry allows to define uh, any coordinate type. But yeah, we are using the same, the same method. And uh, mm, yes, between, uh, between ellipsoid 2WGS it's used or uh, NAD grid, right? because it, it depends on datum. So in this rare case of uh, North American datum, grids are used uh, instead of 2WGS. And uh, um, in some cases, um, actually, I, I was not uh, entirely um, honest with you, because there is a rare case of uh, 3D um, representation of uh, coordinates, which is uh, uh, earth centered, earth fixed, which is also supported, uh, but. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm not talking about that right now because it's a different story. Um, yeah, so we are we are, uh, we are using the same method as Proch4. Pro 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 I don't, I don't understand the question entirely. Um, so I've gone kind of from using iProject to be able to pull bindings in Python. Is there any uh, like command line interface that you can use to use boost geometry from other... Oh, right. Something like CS2CS. You're talking about uh, calling uh, mm, a tool from uh, Linux... Uh, Command line, yeah. right? No, there is. There, there is. No. But there is, uh, there is Proch4 based one. It's called CS2CS uh, with two as a number. Uh, 169 and but without uh, with all of the things I, I showed here uh, compiling without problems 170 <laughs> which is not there yet
but most of the things will work. Let's wrap it up. Uh, thank you. Very okay, much. thank you. Yeah.